Well, our next mystery fighter set to make his way down the cage side here. Kusanov Ravshankon of Azerbaijan. As far as I understand, he has a background in wrestling. But as for the rest of his background, your guess is as good as mine. He's got no share dog page. He's got no fights on YouTube. And he claims to be two and one. Well, he's a big dude, I can tell you that. 104 kilograms he weighed in two days ago. So who knows how much he's been eating since then. If he's put on any extra weight or he's lost any weight. But this 25 year old looks like he, he could pack a very powerful punch. Take a look at this guy. He's gonna be fighting Alexander Romanov, a local boy here from Moldova who's very well known to these fans, so. Definitely not gonna be winning any popularity contests here, but uh, I'm Three, as interested as you are to see what this guy can bring to the game. Professional records. Five, three, wins, two, loses, one. From Uzbekistan, Kusanov Roshan Second fighter, the fighter from Moldova, Alexander Ramana. Well, don't expect a long one here, folks. Alexander Romanov, undefeated at 5-0. Four of his fights have been here at Eagles Fighting Championship. Not a single fight in his career has ever gone the distance. Romanov is a very exciting fighter to watch. Yes, even more exciting than that. He's a heavyweight, but I'll tell you what, he's very quick, very agile, and for a heavyweight, he's got a, he's got a great wrestling background, but he can also drop some bombs. He's not necessarily gonna win the Mr. Olympia contest, but this guy is very quick, very strong, very powerful, and knows how to finish a fight. Professional records, five, five wins, five, from Moldova, Alexander Piton Ramana! Respect each other, this is my common. I remind you, it is, it is forbidden any strike to the back of the hand, to the spine. No elbows, knee to the head, one, only you stand, shake hands. It's time for the heavyweights here at Eagles FC7. Romano, whoa, right off the bat, looking for strikes. Boy, that woke up Rav Shankon right away. Shankong came in here very relaxed, very calm. But you can see that the well, referee warning not to strike in the back of the head. It's all good in the hood. See Romano, that southpaw stance. Inching forward. Wow, did he catch him with that left kick? There's a one in return to the body from Rav Shankong. Look at the 
East. It looks like a sumo match almost in there. Referee warning not to grab the trunks. That's legal in sumo, not legal here under MMA rules. Romano slowly works his man back to the cage here. He's got a left overhook looking for a whizzer. Defended, but still taken down. Romano on top now. Moves right in the full mount, and that is not good news for Rep Shako. Here come the bombs. This crowd is losing their mind here in Kishio. Romano doing everything he can to try to end this fight. Lefts and rights continuously going straight down. victory for Alexander Romano in front of his hometown crowd here in Chisnio. Let's take a look at what happened. Boy, that was a great one. It really, look at that expression. You can see the eyebrows raise up. Really got the attention of Rav Shakpone, but here's how it ended. Just continuous shots. There was really nothing at this point that Rav Shakpone could really do. He's just sitting on him with all 117 kilograms. It's just raining down continuous left and right shots. The Azerbaijani fighter could not get out of it, and the referee had no other choice but to stop this thing. The 13 kilogram weight differential between these two, and Romano really took advantage of that. By GDO, the winner is Спасибо. Также хочу сказать, что я посвящаю свою победу своему дедушке.